It's Bay Radio here. Uh, it's the FLW Railback Series on Sam Rayburn's third and final day. I'm here with Ron Lappin, tournament director of uh, the FLW. You know, here shortly the anglers will start making their way to the stage and the stars will surely cross up and show a good day of fishing. But I want to take a few minutes to acknowledge the folks that really make the difference with the FLW. Um, Ron and his crew do such an amazing job of getting the event coordinated and getting all the anglers down and getting you know, participation with it. Ron, if you don't mind, could you tell us real quick a little bit of what you have to go through uh, to get set up for these events? You know, every site and every lake's a little bit different. Uh, each state has a different uh, permit system. Uh, Texas uh, uh, Parks doesn't have a permit system right now. You just go to the county, city, or whoever the controlling uh, entity is that controls the park and get a permit and right. set it up there. The good thing about it here, this county, Angelina County, understands how important this is. You know, I asked the other day, how do you have the foresight to build a facility like this? Right. You know, especially with the infrastructure as far away as it is. And I think they've uh, they finally come to the realization that uh, that's a new renewable resource out there. Every year less fish are going to spawn. Every year people are going to come and fish for them when they spawn. This, Texas is one of our most popular divisions. We probably get more transient fishermen from other places because yeah. they've heard all these lakes all their lives. Yeah. Even though the last couple of years most of the lakes have been a little bit tougher than they were for, for centuries, uh, you know, the drought, the hurt, and everything else, yeah. so the lakes are back. There's no doubt about that. You know, we caught 1,400 pounds the first day and only 1,700 pounds yesterday. So, that's you know, that's really you, in the fall, the fall is the fall. You know how yeah. it's tough everywhere. But th this has shown to be the perfect place for this kind of event. Made the competition tough for everybody. Yeah, it's level the playing field a lot. Uh, you know, normally you see size bags of 22 to 28 pounds coming right. in, but here recently with the cold fronts and the fronts that we've had pushing in, with 20 pound sacks have been kind of the norm mm -hmm. as far as your big sacks. Um, but you know, it's, it's a really great event. I sure do appreciate you and the FLW for allowing Fish Bay Radio to be part of it and you know, working with us and having us support. Well, you know, Scott, you realize how important local media is to anything you do. You know, you can only do so much stuff nationally and reach uh, small town USA. So uh, people like you that, that, that report on what happens, make stars of local anglers. And that's what the Ray of Axe series is. It's a mix of some of the biggest names in the sports like you have here. Yes, sir. And then the guys that still have a job that are able to come fish and compete. And then the guys that uh, that would like to that do well in their home life. And, you know, uh, we've seen a little bit of everything in this top ten. You know, we've got yeah. some seasoned veterans. We've got some new guys. And we've got some some, some anglers that uh, compete more club level than they do in this, in this final top ten. So, I'm pretty excited about that. That's the important too. part of it. That's I am important. too. It's, it's going to make for an interesting day today. You know, the, the field changed quite a bit yesterday after weighing in. Albert yeah. Collins moved to the top, and you know, definitely want to congratulate Albert Collins. Uh, uh, he's a great angler, as well as Clark Ream and some of the local guys. You know, uh, when, you, when you come to Sam Rayburn, it's kind of their backyard, so you better have your game face on. Well, you know, Clark did what he had to do and made the top ten. Unfortunately, Todd had a pretty good time with too. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, Clark was about the only angler that could catch Todd. And it looks like it's going to be a two or three point win either way. And, and I think most everybody's figured out it's, it's going to be hard for Clark to catch Todd. But, uh, you know, you've got guys, the, the local guys in Texas are known nationally because they know what it's like to win on Rayburn and Toledo being the yes, Falcon and Instead and, you know, all the rest, Travis, all the other lakes. And a, a local guy has more on the ride on the eastern side than he does here. Because people think he's a good guy on this side. It's going to be exciting. Uh, the top 30 will be this afternoon. We have a system where we text all our angles the final results. So this afternoon, we have about 4 30. All the guys are not going to go that championship if we are not. We'll text them the final results. Well, I know you're getting everything kicked off. Ron, again, thank you so thank much you for so having much us here. It's a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you for what you do for fishing this area. And as fishing grows, we're trying to inspire it. And it grows nationally. We're a national organization, and, and, and we know how important it is to grow at the local level. And, of course, Texas is high school program. Yes, it is. Which uh, is making it easier for the game. We in Kentucky just love to be a space where we can play like football, basketball. Hopefully that's more than that. That's what we're in front of college names, and there's already three conferences giving the scholarship for basketball. And, and that's so great to see that. It is, it is. Again, Ron, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank Look you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, bud.